welcome back to my channel and today I think I don't have to pick coins because I looked and it, it wasn't quite ready and I just had a whole bunch of coins the last time so hopefully hopefully I'm good I'll check before I leave but and then I picked a bunch of tomatoes and a cabbage and some basil I found two cucumbers one zucchini and what else did I find um, green beans and some onions. And I finally picked one final, so. Anyway, now let's get started with the garden tour. Alright, there's my trusty corn. I'm just going to go in the road and make sure I don't have any corn. Because I forgot to do that earlier. I don't really see any. One. Yeah, that one's not ready. I can feel it's not ready. So, as I suspected, no corn for today. I'll check the other end, but no corn. That's kind of how I hoped it would be, is like a week of corn and then like a break for a little bit. Well, I should probably should check the corn that's laying down. So, my pumpkins are blooming. Let's see if I get any pumpkins, though. Let's see. Let's check and see. Oh, there's a cob. I just didn't see, and here's one. Ah, uh, there's some in here. I didn't see. So I'll pick some corn, and then I'll continue on with the tour. Okay, now that was fun. I got like a dozen and a half, maybe two dozen corn out of there. But that's good. My sweet potatoes are really crawling up and getting big. Oh, cool! Look at the flowers. They pretty. I don't think I've ever seen them bloom before. I probably always miss it because I don't live here. In case you don't know, my garden is at my parents' house, so I only come out once or twice a week to come look at it. And since then, this is weird because this is um, the same plant as this one. But look at the leaves difference. This is a yeah, artichoke. Look, this is so interesting how different they can be, but they came from the same seeds. It's so weird. Some more beans they're blooming but I don't see any beans but oh there are some let's see they're not quite ready to pick but I should I pick them when I come next time oh that's good I've been waiting oh well, they're so pretty isn't that beautiful so pretty all right we're going with the rest of this some more beans I found two cucumbers down there before the other one doesn't appear to have any beans. Just that one had a couple. And that's why I'm not bothering to pick them. There's just a few on that one, which is weird. Planted all the beans at the same time, and one of these on the other side has um, acorn squash growing, so it's kind of an awesome thing. My wonderful potato patch. Yeah, it has weeds. I was kind of hoping the potatoes were done soon, but that didn't get my wish. And we have. Squash, zucchinias, some okra. You can tell. Hasn't done anything yet. And then my eggplants and peppers and some more um, fennel. I think I have one fennel that's probably close to being ready to pick. And then I have my beans. These are those big white beans I can never think of the name. They're not pinto beans, they're white. <sighs> my peppers and my Mm -hmm. Brussels sprouts. And I have some more sweet potatoes. These ones haven't been good in going up the vine. And I have some, I don't have any at the moment, uh, some squash to pick. And then today the boys helped me hang up some more tomatoes, hang up, tie up some more tomatoes. I have this row left to tie up and then all the tomatoes, my mom's tomatoes to tie up. It's like the never-ending battle of tomatoes. Tie them up or they get sick. And even then they do. Look at that. I pulled off all the bottom and still got nasty. Look at the flowers I'm getting big. It's probably come full weeds here. I just, I'm waiting for a day, rainy day to pull up a few weeds that I got in the garden out. It's so nice to see them all tied up. It's like, oh, one last nightmare. But there's a nightmare still to go. So 
so there's a few that need steaks, but for the most part, we're just gonna live with what we got, I guess. We got these leeks. Oh, I keep forgetting, I gotta bring leeks to plant them. This is my cherry tomato bed. I'm coming along. Just taking their sweet time. And look at my sunflowers, just like tons of them. This is the teddy bear one that my niece gave me. See? I've had, it's been here for a while. I'm always happy to come through that one. It's a cute little one, but the size of her. See if I can find the, let's go over here. But there's bugs all over them. I wish I knew why. But I'm gonna pick one and take it home. Isn't that beautiful? I wanna save some seeds from this one. It's like my favorite flower. They're so pretty. All right, and then we have cilantro, a little bit of basil, nice spinach. It's so warm, it's not doing that great. Some dill, I believe that's beets, no, not beets. I believe it's turnips. And we have Swiss chard, I picked a bunch of it this morning already. And then there's some beets and lettuce that I actually picked already. I don't think you see any lettuce. And then I didn't pick any kale this time. Fennel, that's where I picked my fennel today. And I picked two zucchini out of the back there, but they're getting kind of ate up by the bugs. And then way, way, way back there is pumpkins. Again, I'm waiting for a rainy day to finish weeding that out. And then I also have more basil to plant in here and more leeks to plant over there. And I believe they're either broccoli or cabbage in this row that needs to be rooted. These are my blackberries or black raspberries. I forget what they are. But the thornless kind. And I saw blossoms. I know I did. But I don't see any fruit. I keep looking. Kind of like, hmm. Strawberries. They're all mulched. And you can see some of the tomatoes down there I already, that I already picked. All right, this is my last row. This is my asparagus beans. Those are really snake-looking things that look creepy. They taste good, though. This is, and I believe this is a row that I need to pull up. I don't think there are any peas in here anymore. And now I'm going to plant something else in there. You can see my radishes are going to seed, so I'm hoping to keep, ooh, keep a few seeds for next year. Kind of like what, what's one of my goals this year. The green beans, that actually did grow. I just picked those. I didn't get a ton, but I did get some. This is another row of peas that needs to be finished cleaning up. There's like a plant or two left. That's the reason I haven't pulled them all. I got some beets. <sighs> I actually didn't take any beets today. And I forget which green that is down there. I actually think that might be, um, what do you call it, collards. Because I thought it was, um, what do you call them, with the little kohlrabis, but it's not quite behaving like that. Here's one of my sunflowers that bloomed before. I should probably take that home if I want to enjoy it. And then I picked up all the stuff here. This row is empty, and this row is empty. I have two empty rows with a little bit of stuff on the end. There's a celery there. There's a little bit of lettuce left. And this is all my squash. I keep pulling weeds out of there, but I'll probably always pull weeds out of there. And then my beautiful flowers. Look, the red ones are finally... Look at that. You have to see the red ones. There's the pretty And there's some pink ones and then some burgundy and some yellow. It's so pretty. This, I believe, is Brussels sprouts. And I planted peas. You can see them coming out. I planted corn next to these ones, but I don't know if it's going to come up or not. It's been really dry. My kale and my onions I need to pull. I, every time I'm out here, I pull some onions. Uh, here's the cabbage. I actually picked one of my cabbage today. And there's some onions in there. That's my um, balsam. It's my favorite flower. And my cauliflower. And there are onions next to, the, next to them. It's going to be fun to try and dig out. And I actually dug out a bunch of weeds out of here. plants out of here today. I'm going to be replanting it. And I haven't decided if I'm going to get rid of the tomatillos or not. I don't mind them. It's just that I have like 50 million. I mean, look. That's all tomatillos. Yeah, right. I don't need that many. 
All right, and there's some more Swiss chard. I should probably pick that one up come next time. I haven't picked it in a while. Some squash, I think I actually got two out of there. This is the turnips. I actually wanted a turnip today, but they were all still little sunflowers. Look at that. I got a couple. They're so pretty. I should probably pick that one right there. I remember. And the okra. I actually think the okra in my other spot is actually in better shape than this one. It's still there. It's still laughing at me though. I'll be glad when it's finally done. It's like, it's been growing and it's got, I think it's just taking its sweet time. It likes to pick on me. Some of my flowers. I have some more over there you can't really see too well. This is my mom's tomatoes. But anyway, that's my garden tour for today. Thanks for taking along and checking up on my garden with me. And I'll see you again next time. Bye!